Probably more difficult to treat these, although we had some good results using antifungal drugs back then. The solid masses, let's say I have prostate cancer. What could you do? How do you deliver sodium bicarb to my prostate? Uh, the problem, problem is that a sodium bicarbonate is effective if you can uh, put in contact the sodium bicarbonate with the cancer. Okay. So you have to reach the cancer directly uh, in, the, in the depth of the organism. So if you want to reach the prostate cancer, you have to locate before a uh, catheter in the ar artery, the okay. potenda artery mm -hmm. or hypogastric artery that reaches the prostate. Then uh, you can administer by through a, a port cat connected to the, 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 the catheter, the, the sodium bicarbonate directly to the prostate and kill fungi because the concentration of the, of the salt is very high because you used the artery that is direct, uh, directly feeding the, 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 the organ. So the, the, it is important for the prostate, for the liver, for the, for the spleen, for the kidney, uh, and other organs, internal organs, to locate catheters. Instead, for the cavities, pleura, uh, peritoneum, you have to, to, to locate a transperitoneal or, trans, or a pleural catheter to reach directly the colonies. You saw, have you seen the white lamps? Yes. If you wash the pleura, I have uh, the result after one week. After one week, I can show you, all the pleura, pleura was red. And the lamps disappeared in one week. The pleura is amazing how it, reg it regressed, the cancer in the pleura. So these were, this is a pleural cavity cancer. Uh, in those cases, uh, catheters are needed. I can see a whole new business being developed by making catheters specific to this. One thing that overwhelms me as you're talking is the safety and the simplicity of this. Can we talk a little bit about the way I ended the last segment? We have surgery, probably a good idea. If I had a lump in my body, I'd probably have it taken out. But in America, you have to sign, once you get the lump out, that you will take chemotherapy and radiation. As I referenced, I don't need to. It's all over the United States. It's in the medical journals. Chemotherapy and radiation are carcinogenic. They can cause cancer. This therapy that you're talking about, sodium bicarbonate delivered via a catheter yeah. to a tumor site, where's the harm? It seems very, very harmless. They're not potent, dangerous medicines. No, it's not, it's not dangerous because uh, there is a, a, a remote uh, possibility of infection. But there is the, the life, on the other hand. And then there are, there are some type of cancer, breast cancer, doesn't need of the catheter. Bladder cancer, brain cancer, they are, they, breast and bladder cancer ha, uh, with the sodium bicarbonate can heal in 99% without surgery, without chemotherapy, without radiotherapy, and let the organs there softly, softly. You can remove the cancer just with local infiltration or you, you, um, you rather uh, mm -hmm. catheterization. So it's very simple. I, it's, a har it's a harmless. This is amazing. You're saying a urethral catheter can deliver sodium bicarb to the bladder. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you saying with breast cancer, a little incision, squirt? Six days, they, everybody heals. Six days, the, the, the breast is, spa is spared. Have, have I don't there, know why you don't try. <laughs> have there been, uh, therein lies the question, because we're, did you ever see the ad folks on TV where the guy at work says, where are we going to lunch? Same place, same thing. We're creatures of habit in America. The doctor said I have cancer, so I do. The doctor said to take chemo, so I do. We need to start thinking a little bit out of the box. Dr. Simoncini, I need to ask you a question. You're an oncologist. You went through all of this medical training and before that, medical school. You learned the way the big companies wanted you to learn. When was the epiphany? When did Dr. Simoncini say, go home and say to his wife, 
oh my gosh, I have discovered something amazing. When? Uh, it was a uh, uh, long time ago, but the, the first step is that when I was at the first lesson of histology, and the professor uh, told us, the big professor, the cancer is a mystery. So I thought, they are stupid. We are, in this, uh, in this century, plenty of uh, marvelous things, and cancer is a stupidity, is a, is, a, is a mystery. And then I studied, and more, the more I studied, the more I understood the stupidities. This is the first step. Then I criticized at once, because if a man, normal, normal person, uh, 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 read one, two, three chapter. And at the end of the chapter, there is the dark. A, a normal person would say, this is a stupidity, but we have the research, I don't care. But we have the, 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 the devices, I don't care. What are you doing if you don't know where you have to go? This is the first step. Then I, I prayed Lord, the Lord, please, Give me a light, because I see terrible sufferings. I, wo I was in an oncolo pediatric oncologic ward, and mm. all, all the children died from cancer. And I, I, I prayed, and Lord, give me the... Because I was looking for the truth but in, in the suffering. I was suffering looking when I, when I was uh, looking the, 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 the poor, poor... Uh, children dying with chemo, with the radiation, and so on. So, in, the, in a moment, I, I, I perceived that the psoriasis is a fungus. Mm -hmm. And the medicine said, incurable fungus, uncurable, fungus, uncurable, uncurable tumor, uncurable fungus. <laughs> this is the... This is oh, Dr. Simoncini is with us today. I am touched by this. I feel like crying myself because we see it every day. It affects our families. Maybe, just maybe, there's something we can do about it. Where does fungus come from? Oh boy, if cancer is a fungus, then what is a fungus? In other words, how do we get this fungus inside our body or this yeast inside our body? Where do you think all of this starts after your years of research? There is an endemy. A big epi epidemic pollution because the fungus is undervalued. But it, it, it is undervalued because it is not understood. So when something is difficult, the scientists say, oh, it is always in the cancer patients, but <laughs> there is a big pollution. No, you have to know that in, the, in the Japan, there are 15 million people with the, the fungus in the between in the tools. Anicomycosis, yeah. Toe Fifty fungus. millions. In Japan. In Japan. Just in, how many how many people you, you can you can see with fungi, with fungi, with the psoriasis and so on. There is this is the, the illness of the second millennium. So many other pathologies are made by, by, by the fungus. Mm. I my multiple sclerosis. I agree. Um, uh, we have published that. Lateral sclerosis, uh, uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. ALS? Yeah, they are all fungi. Yeah. You know, I published my findings at diabetes, that dermatologic conditions. I'm wondering if so many, so many children today, you cry because these children are dying of cancer, and yet we're drugging them with SSRIs, right, yeah. antidepressants today, just drugging kids left and right and Ritalin and so forth. And I have to wonder how much of this depression isn't just yeast mold growing through the body. Uh, finally, you give us hope. Uh, you won't find many television companies that will allow this, and I'm sorry, from my heart, I have to tell you that we have let the American public down by not getting this information out to you. Do you see when I started this show, what, 12, 15 years ago? Know the cause, how important it was. Did you see the cancer today on the, sc on the screen? Have you ever seen cancer before? Did you know cancers are white? Now you know why. Cancer is a fungus.